Now, what a goal that was. What a stunning goal. And he went for a shot there, but it went sailed well over the crossbar. But here come the Knights, and they're very quick. Um, it's Manilam knocks over, and this is Cornish Could he now flick it over? And this is going to be the first goal. The first goal of the night in the 26th minute. Even their free kicks have done with a certain purpose. And uh, there's a great little flick on. And that was Phelps, Joshua Phelps. I think Giselle with that beautiful cross in. And see the game out. You know, three points is three points at the end of the day. Ball goes forward now to Gian Albano on the edge of the box. Goes towards the back post. There's no one there. Peter Sano knocks it away. Back to Albano. He gets inside the penalty box. He finds uh, Bramwell now. He manages to tuck it away from close range. That was just perseverance by Albano. Finds a substitute, Zach Thomas. Balls flicked forward, looking for Ott. On the edge of the box. And that's almost an own goal, and it is going to be an own goal. That was good work there by Ivan Razumic. It's going to be a free kick there. The referee allows to play on Hall. Has the ball there. And a great shot there from, and it's going to be another goal. I think mean, it was a Semikula who uh, floated that in. That was a magnificent piece of effort there by Sumayoro. Now Kubelay. Clark is racing on the left-hand side. He's got Decker in the middle. This is Clark for Decker. A textbook goal. They moved the ball from one end to the pitch to the other in no time at all. Might have lost out here. Ado Kadakpo is surging forward. He's all on his own. He couldn't wait for Josh Hope, but he's got to go his own way. Ado Kadakpo! The Cavaliers are right back in it at 1 1. Looks like he wants to come back and join the defensive shape as well. He's going to come back as well. Everyone back in defense for Gully. Into the back post. Driscoll can't quite get it away. And there's the goal for the Cavs. They're back in front. And Anton Lenari celebrates. Lofts it towards the back post of Aiden Bryce. It's over the top and it's in! Last touch, I think, might have come off a Port Melbourne player. But Avondale deservedly have their goal. Cross comes in. React up in the air. Heads it down. Langwa. It's Langwa on the spot for South Melbourne. It's Marshall plays it forward. React. Can't find a teammate, but Figueroa's slice clearance is going to cause trouble for Thurman. And South Melbourne get a second. They make them pay, and it's Patrick Langlois gets on the end of an Alan Webb cross. Not too many options there for the Bentley Green's number eight. He goes out towards his right. Baker flicks it on, and here's an opportunity. Now, what a goal that was. What a stunning goal. Seemed like the wind took that, and that was Ben Carrigan. Fleming now. Goes back, puts Broadway under pressure. Opperman was off balance there, and here's an opportunity for the Bentley Greens, and a powerful effort from an acute angle by Manasse Abandelwa. And when things are going your way, luck is going your way. When they're not, they're not, and that is exactly that situation there. As a magnificent effort, though, just seconds later from Charlie Fleming with his right boot, curled around Bon Scott, and there is hope for the North Geelong Warriors. Makoski came across. Ball kept in by McGlade. Down the right wing, popping up everywhere, Dylan McGlade. Trying to get something going here for Hume. Pulls it back. Chance here for Mustafa. Let's it settle. Takes it under his left and he gets it in. It's the substitute that strikes for Hume. And the backflip in celebration. That's in by Shepard towards the back post. Pushed away by Magic Marwi. And return back and in Feidelberg. Which of play looking for Leo Marzis. Right hand edge of the penalty area, fires the shot straight at Aresh. Scott Lockhead is there. Rolls it across from Marzis. 
Central for Lino, who's just come on. Will it fall for Lino? The impact sub! 44 goals in 83 previous games at this level as Mometi sends it in. Headed by all. And Russ Clark has pointed to the spot for Darwin to score. He's got three on the season. Can he tuck it away? He can with ease. Grant Darwin has sent the Thunder fans into a state of pandemonium.